between the time I arrived and the time that the campus opened, it was just two years. Um, it, you know, was opened in the fall of 65. And there were um, some of my classmates that did come here as freshmen. There were also in that first year transfer students who knew that there was going to be this University of California opening in the fall of 65. And as a result, they decided to just stay put, why leave this area, just stay put, go to the likes of Orange Coast College, and then transfer um, here to UC Irvine. Um, and so there was, there was a, a population that then at that opening day, there were 1,500 students, as I remember, that stood not too far from here and literally said the Pledge of Allegiance as the flag was being raised. By Barbara now, Davidson. Now, now, let's think about our college experience. <laughs> How many of you <laughs> stood around a flagpole and said the Pledge of Allegiance? Not many, not many. Oh. So. Um, then I would be coming back here and watching how the campus grew, and it grew uh, dramatically. It grew dramatically, and um, it was wonderful to listen. First of all, I'll backtrack, to listen at our dinner table, because mom and dad were very inclusive. Um, we were always part of you know, the table, part of the discussion. Um, it was not something that we were brought into at a time of, you know, when it was convenient. It was a lifestyle. It was a lifestyle, and it had been a lifestyle since the get-go. And that goes to something I'd like to say at this point about Dad, about Papa, um, that is beyond what people might have said in other, you know, other moments about what he was like professionally. And that is what he was like personally. What was he like as a father? Um, we both have our own, you know, maybe filter on this. But what I'm, going, what I'm going to say is this. And I would hope that both my brothers agree with this. He believed and trusted us from the get-go. And because he believed in us and trusted us, there were expectations about, you know, who we were, how we would, you know, behave. And my younger brother and I have discussed this. Papa was not a hands-on nurturing type of father because, first of all, he trusted us. He had expectations of us. And um, he, it, it was, you know, there, there wasn't that, you know, um, you might have felt something different, but, um, I'll go to the point that he, he trusted us and he, that was a hallmark about what, how he dealt with everyone, whether it he was expected, his children. He expected or, everyone would try their best. Absolutely. And yeah. he knew, he just felt that, okay, we're going to do our best because we're in this together. And this is the way he was within the family dynamic and also the professional dynamic. And I always used to uh, say to people in my own professional life, is my father hired you because he knew that you were the best one to come and do the job or he wouldn't have hired you in the first place and that was the way that faculty and that his staff the original staff he built it on that outlook and um, from my viewpoint it paid off in dividends that are still here today and that is what um, he, he had a vision, he articulated that vision. But he enabled others to and join he enabled and people their because, own vision. Yeah, absolutely. It was never just his. It is. It it's, was. it's ours. But you have to have, in my mind, you have to have that initial visionary. And then you recruit those that, you know, see it with you. Yeah. and add to it in their contribution and whether it was in that I'm gonna go back to something that I feel so so connected to and that is our uh, Claire School of the Arts Claire Trevor School of the Arts and how that began and if you look at which I know you both have at those first albums those first yearbooks and you look at the faculty that was attracted to this no man's land and they came here as visiting faculty. Whether, you know, it was 
Clayton Garrison, or it was David Hockney, or, I mean, it was just remarkable. And it's because they all wanted to get on this bandwagon and be a part of that vision. And that really is the way I, I, I see Papa, 